Hey there, Bear Jiggers. Welcome back. I'm Sean. If it's your first time. If not, yeah. So, this one, I believe, is actually a Halloween seasonal. Um, so, I'm a little late on this one. But, and this is from Flying Dog Brewing. Formerly of, was it Maryland? But now they brew out of Utica. And this is the first one that I've had from them. Yeah. Brewed by Flying Dog Utica, New York. So, I think they were in Frederick, Maryland before. Um, this is their Cujo Cold Brew Coffee Porter Limited Edition. Coming in at 6% alcohol. And from the name alone and the label art, I, that's why I believe this was their Halloween seasonal. Um, brewed with Vigilante Coffee. Meet Cujo Coffee Porter, a nocturnal blue waiting to pounce on your taste buds. Like its namesake, this one doesn't sit, stare, or roll over. It growls, prowls, and romps. The blue brew is so delicately deep, dark, and frothy, it's scary. Enjoy. So, um, yeah. Like I said, I picked this one after the Halloween season. I saw it. I like porters. I has to have it. So I got it. I'm interested to see what their beer is like now inside of Utica. I'm imagining it's still going to be up to standard because Saranac makes some decent beer or Saranac F FX Matt, whatever you want to call it. Uh, pours a dark brown almost black. You get some of that amber blonde hue around the edge of it. Wasn't much of a head. Um dark you can't see through it but you can definitely tell it's not like motor oil stout dark it wasn't much of a head when I poured it and even with a good swirl it doesn't seem like there's much of a head going on on this one but what little head there is it is that khaki mocha dark tan of a head Some good espresso. Some good mocha espresso. Like a dark, darker chocolate. A little sweetness. More like a baker's cocoa, I guess. Roasty. Yeah, it smells like a, a nice like mocha espresso. With a good roast, a little bit of like creaminess going in there, almost like a creamy vanilla. It smells like it should be a good porter. It looks like it should be a good porter, minus the little head that's not staying. But let's get a sip on her. Mm. On the thinner side, right off the back, I'll tell you that. This is a thinner porter. Decent amounts of good roasty mocha chocolate. The roast on this is good. This had a little more thickness in the body. More stouty, I guess. This would be perfect. Decent amount of that mocha sweet, well, mildly sweet, not quite dark, but not quite sweet chocolate. A little bit of creamy vanilla is coming through on it. The roast is like a perfect roast. It's not like overly burnt. But it's got like a watery thinness to it. That you can tell it changes the flavor just a little bit towards the back end to give you more of a bitter finish. I did let this sit out a good 15 20 minutes to warm up before I came out here to drink it. But it's not a bad brew, it just needs to be thickened up a little bit. I'm not sure if this is their first year doing this or if this is an actual like every year seasonal. Um, This, it's definitely reminding me of a, a 
Saranac, Porter Stout. They always seem to be on the thinner side as well. Um, I have a few more coming up I'm going to review from Saranac. So I'll be able to make notes, go back, and try to focus on that more of comparing, especially now that these guys have been brewed at the same place. If it's going to benefit them, if it's going to hurt them. This I'd give 3.75. It's almost 2 of 4 for me. Like I said, a little bit thicker. This would be good. Flying Dog, now they're being made by FX Mats because they got bought off or they merged or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not sure what the distribution is going to be like. I'm not sure if it's going to be a greater distribution, if it's going to lessen up and change where they really will be. Um, East Coast, you should be able to pick these guys up. If these are still in the store, I imagine they can't be too much. You might even get lucky to find a store that doesn't know what they have and discounts, you know, or older beers from sitting shelfy, discounted out. So you may be able to find this. If you want to give it a try, just to see what the if you can notice any changes from them changing where they're being brewed at. But I don't know. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.